moved on, which is dead. <laughs> yes, that's right. The CW has canceled Gotham Knights after one season. <gasps> Let me pretend to be shocked. Like, it didn't make no sense for it to even get ordered after that <laughs> terrible intro, after that backlash from the trailer and the fact that the pilot had um, got rejected the first time around because it was horrible. But then the CW said, nah, let's 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 try it again. No, you tried to mark it off the fact that a Gotham Knights game was coming out, which the game is terrible too. That's a hot mess of a game. And you tried to think that you was going to be able to market the characters. You thought you was going to be able to market the characters to... No, you thought you was going to be able to use the marketing of Gotham Knights to get people in to watch this CW Gotham Knights crap, which made absolutely no sense. Apparently, Batman was dead. He was a... Um, his adoptive son that they made up for the show, just like they made up Jordan Kent, um, was, was, um, was accused of killing his own father, which makes no damn sense. Um, apparently, you know, Dula Dent, um, was in there, um, Bluebird, Harper Rowe, her, his, um, her brother, um, Ray Swap, Carrie Kelly, like, the, the shit didn't make sense, like, I don't understand if you're going to do a Batman show about Batman characters, either do them right or don't do them at all. And it was kind of weird because it was the same writers from Batwoman. Like, you literally sat up there and said, well, you fucked up and failed with Batwoman. Let me give you Gotham Knights as a consolation prize. And hopefully you can do better or something like that. No, you, you sat up there and said, well, wow, this show failed. Let's do it again with Gotham Knight. Like the whole failing upward crap in Hollywood needs to stop. It really needs to stop because it really makes absolutely no logical sense. Why? You, you know what? You know what I'm saying? It, it just makes absolutely no logical sense why this show got greenlit at all. Batwoman was a colossal failure for the network. So you're going to still hire the same people to do Gotham Knights. And what? You thought that that was going to get people in? Hell, I haven't even watched it yet. I... I had no I know I promised some people I was gonna watch it and I completely forgot about it because it's complete dog shit. Because I saw a preview of the first episode and I said, oh, absolutely not. A absolutely not. I'd rather watch Birds of Prey 2000 series before I watch this garbage. And honestly, most of um, Birds of Prey 2000 series is better than most of the shit that was produced on the CW. Um, Arrowverse. I'm just being honest. And that show had restrictions more so than um, this show. Then you have to take a classical straight character and make them gay for no reason. Harper Rowe was in there and then they put Stephanie Brown in there and then they kissed and everybody was like, oh my God, it, it is happening. Stephanie Brown is also bisexual. No absolutely not she is not just like Tim is not gay you can't keep writing these characters as gay and think that that's supposed to make people better like you, you really think that's supposed to get people excited to, to watch and support the show no all it does is get people turned off because everybody was like that's not how Stephanie Brown is sorry there's 30 years of history on these characters that a lot of us you know read and if you want to entice comic book fans, you can't give us half-ass shit. Like, stop. Stop doing shit like this. Carrie Kelly, an alternate reality character where she could have become, you know, um, Robin in a potential future storyline. Then you bring her to the main, the main, I mean, the main continuity, and you say, 
hey, you know what would be good? Let's let's um take Raven's daughter from Raven's home and make her Robin. Oh, and Batman was secretly training her to be Robin. Without his son, without his son knowing. He, um, but the fact of the matter is, there's no Dick Grayson, there's no Tim Drake, there's no Jason Todd, there's no Damien, there's no Cassandra Kane. You know, Batman's actual adopted daughter and biological, I mean, I mean, adopted children and biological children. No, we're not gonna, we're not even gonna mention those characters, but we're going to bring in an alternate reality version of the character who happens to be a, a redhead with glasses. No, let's make her actually black for no reason. And then let's take Castile um, from Supernatural and let's make him Two-Face, apparently. we I don't even know if he's even going to get there or not. Who the hell cares? I think the show still got a few more episodes. Um, I think the show still got a few more episodes or whatever. I don't know. I'm not paying attention to it. Um, but, but yeah... Who's shocked by this? The show should have never been greenlit. And that, that's a prime example of why DC and Marvel are failing right now. That's why people are walking away. Because y'all do shit like this. You take shows and, and you take these characters that you're adapting from them. And then you fucking screw them up. Change them completely to the point where they're not recognizable. And you're wondering why people are just tired of this nonsense and everybody before anybody be like it's a multiverse they can no no the multiverse is a cop out for laziness honestly just because you have a multiverse don't mean you d disrespect the characters especially if a lot of these characters are making their first ever live action debut on tv or on film then you might actually need to respect those those characters that's all I'm saying. Like, you really need to respect those characters. You really need to respect those characters when they're being introduced for the first time ever. And you can't go with the alternate reality version of themselves all the damn time. Or it's a multiverse, so that's a, that's a good reason to race swap the characters. No, actually, that's not a good reason to race swap the characters. If anything, that's a lazy, that's a lazy reasoning why to do that. And that's why people reject that's why shows like this get canceled because people aren't watching it that's why you can't keep an audience because things like this you need to start respecting the actual fans of these characters and you need to start respecting the comic books that are inspired by them because you're making it because you want to get that audience but then you don't want to respect the audience or the source material and then get confused when shit um, when shit don't work out for y'all you want people to watch these these shows, right? Well, okay, that's great. Then you're going to have to put some some effort behind it. You're going to have to respect the the history, the lore, the characters, uh, um, and you're going to have to respect us as fans. You can't just give us some some bullshit and then expect us to be like, oh yeah, let's continue to watch it. Because honestly, ask yourself, could you really merchandise Gotham Knights? I wait. What was that? What was that? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. You couldn't merchandise it because it would have been sitting on fucking shelves. Like half of the new generation action figures are nowadays because they're hot garbage. I'm just being honest. You, you know, you got you to gotta pick your battles with this one. The fans told you not to do it. You did it anyway. And these are the things you get. So, yeah. <laughs> the CW cancels got the nights after one season. Praise be the Jesus. There is a God. <laughs> but, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Did you guys watch Gotham Knights? Um, are you happy that Gotham Knights is canceled? I mean, I am. Hell. After that terrible video game, we should have known the show was going to be even worse. <laughs> but yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.